What's up guys, for today's video, we'll be taking a look at the all new 2021 Chevrolet Suburban High Country. Then I'll show you many of the features on the interior, exterior, and we'll be taking a look at this SUV's five years cost to own at the end of the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So first let's start with pricing. So the Suburban comes with six available trims you can choose from. The base model LS that starts at 51,700. And then you have the LT that starts at 56,500. And then you have the RST that starts at 59,800. And then you have the Z71 that starts at 61,900. And then you have the Premier that starts at 65,300. And then you have the Ultimate trim, the High Country that starts at 72,300. So my current tester is the High Country trim, which comes standard with the upgraded 6.2 liter V8, High Country badging all around the car, HD vision camera, those 22 inch wheels, heads up display, quad exhaust, and many more. And it's finished in summit white exterior color and has the jet black and mocha leather interior. And has a starter sticker price of 75,300. My tester has the $4,000 optional premium package, which includes the power retractable assist steps, panoramic sunroof trailering equipment option and many more which made my tester has a window sticker of 81,200 after options shipping and handling and the engine on the suburban this is a 6.2 liter v8 that makes 420 horsepower at 5600 rpms and 460 pound feet of torque at 4100 rpms connected to a 10 speed automatic transmission this is the power to all four wheels and it can tow 7,400 pounds with 1,600 pound payload. And as for fuel economy, the 6.2 makes 14 miles per gallon city, 19 miles per gallon highway with a 28 gallon fuel tank capacity. So on the driver door you have the window control, all four windows are fully automatic. Right below it you have the two stage memory seat, you also have the mirror controls with the locking So on the driver door you have the window control, all four windows are fully automatic. Right below it you have the two stage memory seat, you also have the mirror controls with your power folding mirrors. Also on the door you have a chrome door handle with lock and unlock, you have the grab handle, a small storage, two bottle holders, and you have the Bose speaker. And on the left hand side steering wheel, you have your electronic parking brake, your lane departure warning, the traction control, the rear parking sensors, the low speed cruise control, the auto stop, the power outlet, you have the heads up display controls, you have the four wheel drive controls, the mode selector the automatic light controls with your brightness and the trailer brake control and on the steering wheel you have four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel on the left hand side you have your cruise control you have the heated steering wheel and the forward collision warning you have the chevrolet emblem in the middle with the horn on the right hand side you have your controls for the instrument cluster screen along with your voice command also special on the high country is the brown accents around the steering wheel 
And behind the steering wheel on the left hand side you have the turning signal stock along with the front and rear windshield wipers. And on the screen you have your speed, trip 1, 2, fuel range, oil life, tire pressure, air filter life, brake pad life, timer, follow distance, driver assistance, engine hours, transmission fluid, four wheel drive controls, and a blank page. You can also customize which ones to see and not see. You have your audio, your navigation, your phone, and your settings. And coming along the center, you have the 10.2 inch screen. Right below it, you have the two air vents, the 10 speed automatic transmission. To put it in gear, all you need to do is pull up on reverse and drive, push in for neutral and park, and you have the low gears. And on the right hand side, you have a small storage and the hazards. And down below, you have the radio controls, dual zone climate controls with heated and vented seats. You also have a USB-C, USB, 12 volt power outlet, and a wireless charging pad. And two cup holders, uh, phone storage, and you have a huge center storage. And on the screen, you have your audio, you have AM, FM, Sirius XM, and Bluetooth. You have your phone, your navigation screen. You have the Wi-Fi hotspot. Your user, you can customize this SUV for different drivers. You have the fully customizable settings. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have the trailering page, different apps you can download, OnStar services, your climate controls. You can control it from the screen or from the buttons below. You can also control the rear climate controls. And you have the camera system. You have a bird's eye view camera. You have a white, uh, white angle front camera and rear. You have a zoomed in front and rear. You have cameras on all four wheels. You have the trailering camera and you have the camera settings. And lastly, you have the My Chevrolet app and the Sirius XM app. And also right on top, you have the backup camera mirror. All you need to do is push in or out. And you also have different settings. You can adjust, you have the brightness. You can zoom in and out. And also you can tilt up or down. And right on top, you have the garage home link. You can control the third row seats. You have the lift gate release. And you have the controls for the uh, panoramic sunroof. And the OnStar services. On the window sticker. The standard vehicle price is 75300 They added the premium package. Which made this car has a window sticker of 81200 Here's the final assembly, 5 star safety ratings, and fuel economy. And as you can see on this graph, the Suburban's 5 years cost to own at a price of $78,792 loss. The depreciation on this SUV in 5 years is $41,300 with the biggest hit in the first year of purchase. Fees and taxes paid is around $6,300 depends on the state you buy it in. Fuel paid in 5 years will cost around $10,700 depends on the way you drive it. Insurance will cost around $6,700 and interest comes at around $6,900. Maintenance, which is the most important factor, will cost you around $4,200. And lastly, repairs will cost you around $1,900. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.